this is so exciting. Very much. Because we all have something in our life that we may refer to as our Everest. Mm -hmm. Be it a goal we want to accomplish or whatever. Whatever feels impossible to you, perhaps. That's right, that's right. Well, for some, climbing Mount Everest isn't so hard, especially when you've climbed a mountain or seven. Seven, that's right. Siete. Seven. Siete. Jen, Jen Drummond has scales more than that. She is the only woman to complete the seven second summits challenge. So that means she has climbed the second highest peaks on each and every continent. Which, by the okay, way, how many I'll, continents are there? I'll retire now. I've done nothing <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I know. I, this, uh, my mind is just blowing continuously. But now she's turned her challenges into chapters, and she wants to give you seven strategies on how to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. It's in her new book, Break Proof. So we welcome to the show now, Wonder Woman herself, Jen That's Drummond. Right. Hi. Welcome, thank you for being here. You are incredible. Oh, thank you. We're I'm, all incredible. We're all incredible, but I gotta tell you something. Do you look you're, like this when you're climbing the mountains? Because you are fresh to death, honey. You know, they call me Mountain Barbie for a <laughs> reason. <laughs> no, they don't. I love this so much. <laughs> Okay, so let's get to it. The seven second summits. Say that five times fast. I know. Seven times fast. Where, do, it looks like it's a lot of work. How did you even dream up, you know what, that's a really tall mountain, let me go do that. And then do it six more times. I know, right? So I was in a horrific car crash in 2018 that should have taken my life and didn't. Luckily for me, I'm still here. Oh, it really? woke me up to realize we don't get to choose when we die, but we sure get to choose how we live. So I started reflecting in on my life and thinking, am I really living? Mm -hmm. So 2019 became the year of the bucket list. Uh. Who am I? What do I want to do? What do I want to achieve? And on that list was climb a mountain. 2020, I was turning 40. So like, I'm going to climb a mountain for my 40th birthday. Okay. I decided to climb a mountain named Ama de Blom. Oh. COVID happens. I'm homeschooling. My son's struggling with his math. I'm like, listen, buddy, we do hard things. Yeah. He looks at me and go, if we do hard things, why are you climbing a mountain called I'm a dumb blonde oh instead of a real mountain gosh. like Mount Everest? Stop it. Children. I know, I'm like, I'm a dumb blonde, honey, not I'm a dumb blonde. That's right. We'll look at Everest, we'll see what happens. That's right. So we looked at Everest, I decided to climb it to show him that we can climb whatever Everest is. I hired a coach and he came up with this world record and I said yes. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So despite being slightly shorter than the first summits, it's interesting. You say the second summits are more difficult. Yeah. How so? Yeah, you know, they're not as commercially traveled. Okay. So you do not have as many resources at each mountain. Some of them are technically more difficult. So for example, in Africa, you have Kilimanjaro, which can be a hike. <laughs> Mount Kenya is a 20 pitch rock climb. So you're in rock shoes and a harness and climbing with ropes. So for some reason, a lot of them are just more technically difficult mm. as well. <clears throat> okay. What kind of sports did you play coming up? Yes, so I was a soccer player. Ah. I did triathlon for a little bit and I have gymnastics in my background. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Had you ever All climbed those... before this? No, this I hadn't even slept in a tent when I said yes to this pursuit, but I figured we'd figure it out. Well, you know what? I Speaking think... of sleeping in a tent, <laughs> <Yeah>. another interesting <laughs> anecdote, <laughs> we were told that you, you, you brought a blow, you bring a blow dryer with you. W number one, where do you plug it in? Yes. But number two, I heard a lot of women were like, thank you, because we felt weird about, yeah. I mean, I would, this is why I don't sleep in tents, because I need running water. That's right. And I, you know, a I like to bathe to regularly and, and not live yeah. in the, I mean, yes. what is the story behind that? Okay, so the story <laughs> was, I was actually afraid that I was gonna get frostbite or sick if I had wet hair. Oh, sure. And you know, hair takes forever to dry. Sure does. Oh, don't I so know. I called brands and I'm like, hey, can I bring a hair dryer? And one company said no. One company said, yes, you can borrow the generator. The third company said, do you need a mirror? I'm like, I'm climbing with that company. Do you need a mirror? See, they, Actually, they knew. Actually, yes, they, they knew. knew. I'll yes. take a mirror, thank you very much. They knew it. And I got a solar powered battery that could power a 1000 watt hair dryer. So let's not get too excited. You yeah, know how that is. So it's like, let's it's take, it was like, but yeah. it was better than <laughs> nothing. Not better than nothing. <laughs> and I was super embarrassed because I thought I'd be able to dry my hair in my tent, mm -hmm. but I needed the solar power. So I had to go out there, own it, dry yeah. my hair, and it actually turned out to be a win for everybody because women did come up to me afterwards and said thank you for being a female in this environment and giving us permission to do the same. Oh here, my here. gosh. But, but wait, there's more. How many children do you have? I have seven. Seven. Yes. There's what a are, there, there's what are the ages of these people? Yes, so 17 is my oldest, and then I have twin daughters that are 11. 
I... So they're close together in age. Holy, yes. there they are. Look there at that gorgeous. There's your brood. What do they think of all this? You know, business. kids are young and curious, yeah. so they were super excited. And it's fun when they have their friends come over after school. I can hear my daughters having conversations. Mm -hmm. And some of the little girls will say, like, your mom's the one that climbed Everest. Aww. Oh, my God. And my daughter will say, she is, and she's going to take us to climb it someday, too, if you want to. Well, and we understand mm -hmm. you're going to bring three oh, of yes. those seven children with you on the next climb. It's happening next month. Yeah. Yes, we're going to Kilimanjaro in Africa in February. They were interested. It's a great beginner climb to take them. So we're going to go there, climb. volunteer, and have the experience together. Unbelievable. Yes. Ultimate goal with this that you're doing. I know you've, you've written this book, and that's a wonderful achievement. Yeah. Um, what, what will be the ultimate goal in this journey that you're taking? Yeah, you know, I want women to look at me and get rid of their limitations and say, guess what? That's just something I'm saying. Another truth is possible. And what does that look like for me? And to step into that. Right. Because the, the actual Kilimanjaro for you may be making it through a nine to five. A hundred percent. Yeah, Keeping, everybody's, yeah, everybody's got different. Their, yeah, everybody's got their thing different. Holy mo You know what? We should maybe keep her close. Maybe we'll go climb a mountain. Uh, Let's can you do imagine? this. I will. Bobby Thank you. Bobby will come and film the whole thing. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> Job secured. Congratulations. You are so inspiring. Thank really you true. very keep much. Keep on trucking. Oh, That's my goodness. Right. Yes. Thank you for doing what you're doing for, and for being here with us. So great.